Western sanctions on Chinese aviation technology have persisted for decades, creating what appeared to be insurmountable barriers to advancement. Then in December 2020, China announced development of a new engine that detonated conventional assumptions about technological limitations. An oblique detonation ramjet capable of reaching Mach 16, 16 times the speed of sound. At that velocity, an aircraft could theoretically reach any point on Earth within two hours of takeoff. For context, the world's fastest operational aircraft currently achieves Mach 9.8. This Chinese breakthrough doesn't merely represent incremental progress. It potentially rewrites the entire trajectory of aerospace technology development. International aviation experts suggest this engine could prove as significant as the original invention of the jet engine itself, marking a fundamental transition point in human technological capability. Understanding what makes this achievement remarkable and what implications it carries for global aerospace development requires examining both the technology itself and the context from which it emerged. In the late 1950s, China made strategic decisions to vigorously develop aviation capabilities. This commitment was viewed as an essential milestone in national modernization and technological progress. However, this trajectory triggered considerable concern among Western nations. In response to Chinese advancement in aviation technology, Western countries adopted extensive sanctions designed to limit progress. The United States placed numerous Chinese aviation companies on military blacklists, restricting their ability to obtain critical aviation technology from America and its allies. These restrictions covered high-end sensors, lasers, avionics systems, and precision navigation products, essentially the most important core components of modern aerospace industry. Additionally, the United States coordinated with Japan and South Korea to implement strict export control policies, particularly regarding advanced semiconductors and microelectronics exports to China. Facing severe sanctions, China didn't retreat, but instead channeled efforts toward independent innovation. Starting in 1983, China announced successful development of the turbojet 14 engine, primarily used in J-8H, F, and G series fighters. Although the turbojet 14's technical foundation was relatively weak initially, it marked an important first step for China in the aviation field. Over subsequent decades, China gradually accumulated experience in aircraft engine design and manufacturing. By the early 21st century, China had developed the turbofan 15 engine. This engine utilized advanced high-temperature alloy materials and achieved significant improvements in combustion efficiency and thrust. The turbofan 15 brought more powerful propulsion to China's advanced J-20 fighter. But, you know, China's most recent engine development has caused particular concern in the West, because aircraft equipped with this hypersonic engine could reach anywhere globally within two hours of takeoff. In aerospace engine technology, the United States has long occupied dominant positions, especially in hypersonic engine research and development. In July 2020, American company Boom Supersonic announced successful development of the supersonic passenger aircraft demonstrator XB-1, planning test flights of the supersonic civil aviation aircraft in 2021. This aircraft was equipped with a J-85-15 engine produced by General Electric capable of providing 12,000 pounds of thrust, allowing the XB-1 to fly at speeds of Mach 2.2. According to design flight specifications, the XB-1 could complete transatlantic flights from New York to London in just 3 hours and 15 minutes. This represented a major breakthrough for the United States in supersonic passenger aircraft development in recent years. But in December 2020, China officially announced development of an oblique detonation ramjet engine. The term detonation refers to an extreme combustion method in hypersonic combustion processes that can release over 70% of energy in extremely small spaces and very short time frames. The thermal efficiency of this combustion method exceeds double that of traditional isobaric combustion modes, significantly improving engine performance and efficiency. The performance of this new concept engine is considered to surpass all related technologies currently existing worldwide. 
The world's largest ultra-high-speed wind tunnel had been the X-15 facility built by NASA in the 1960s. This facility could simulate flight conditions below 15 times the speed of sound. But even this advanced X-15 wind tunnel couldn't meet testing requirements for oblique detonation ramjet engines. To overcome this technical challenge, China constructed the more advanced JF-22 ultra-high-speed wind tunnel the largest and most advanced ultra-high-speed wind tunnel in the world independently developed by China. The JF-22 can simulate flight conditions at approximately 30 times the speed of sound, thereby providing ideal testing environments for oblique detonation ramjet engines. Experimental tests in the JF-22 ultra-high-speed wind tunnel demonstrated that this Chinese-developed oblique detonation ramjet engine exhibited amazing performance, reaching top speeds up to Mach 16. An aircraft at this speed could theoretically reach anywhere in the world within two hours. In comparison, the J-85-15 engine, launched by the United States in the same year, although advanced in supersonic technology, achieved top speeds of only Mach 2.2. This means China's oblique detonation ramjet engine is nearly seven times faster, with cruising speeds easily exceeding Mach 5. This undoubtedly poses enormous challenges to U.S. aviation technology leadership. Aircraft engines have historically represented a weakness in China's aviation industry. Whether in military aircraft or civilian passenger aircraft fields, development of this core component has consistently faced technical challenges. To break through this bottleneck, China launched the Oblique Detonation Ramjet Development Project. This project is designed and developed by a key laboratory of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. According to available information, this new Chinese engine no longer diffuses fuel in the intake duct but instead pre-sprays fuel on the engine and introduces flammable gas into the combustion chamber through shock waves for ignition. This method of changing fuel supply effectively solves problems of excessive fuel consumption and engine vibration while also improving engine operating performance and stability. Moreover, it improves shock detonation efficiency by optimizing the shock wave detonation system, further increasing engine power and thrust. The high efficiency of shockwave detonation enables the engine to successfully achieve sustained supersonic cruise under ultra-high-speed flight, greatly improving aircraft strategic and tactical performance. The engine also adopts oblique explosion combustion methods to make fuel burn more completely and improve combustion efficiency. Compared with traditional vertical injection combustion methods, oblique explosion combustion brings higher combustion temperatures and thrust, thereby achieving faster speeds and longer flight distances. Through breakthroughs in these key technologies, China's new engine has achieved extraordinary accomplishments in supersonic flight fields. Not only does it surpass traditional scramjet engines in speed, it also has broader development space in aircraft application fields. Western experts generally believe the introduction of oblique detonation ramjet engines carries epoch-making scientific and technological significance comparable to the invention of the jet engine itself, heralding a major turning point in human technological history. This assessment is an exaggeration. As early as 2004, when the American X-43A aircraft achieved flight at seven times the speed of sound, the engine entered a brief abnormal operating state that lasted only 11 seconds. Then in 2013, the U.S. X-51A aircraft accelerated from Mach 4.8 to 5.1. Although it achieved a longer flight time of six minutes, it still exposed American technical bottlenecks in sustained high-speed flight fields. In contrast, China's new engine not only breaks American technical barriers, but also possesses sustained and stable high-performance output capabilities. It's worth noting that developing scramjet engines represents extremely complex engineering tasks. This technology can be traced back to the Cold War when the United States and Russia achieved their accomplishments through long-term technological accumulation. However, China didn't begin investing in research to explore related technologies until 2015.
Despite late starts, China's progress and results demonstrate the country's outstanding capabilities and innovative spirit in aviation technology fields. Chinese research teams quickly overcame multiple technical hurdles in just a few years. Although this Chinese-developed scramjet engine hasn't yet been officially put into operational use, given continuous technological advancement and gradual improvement of experimental facilities, China's research and development process for ramjet engines and supersonic aircraft will likely accelerate. With the maturation and application of these technologies, China will undoubtedly occupy leading positions in global aviation fields in the future. This forward-looking technological development will not only promote rapid development of China's aviation industry, but will also deepen global recognition of Chinese aviation technology, innovation capabilities. The broader implications extend beyond pure technical achievement to reshape strategic calculations worldwide. Hypersonic flight capabilities fundamentally alter military equations by compressing response times to levels where traditional defense systems become ineffective. An aircraft traveling at Mach 16 can cover distances before defensive measures can be coordinated and deployed. This creates asymmetries that favor offensive capabilities over defensive responses, a shift that destabilizes existing deterrence frameworks built on assumptions about warning times and interception possibilities. For civilian applications, hypersonic flight promises revolutionary changes in global transportation. Two-hour access to any point on Earth transforms business, diplomacy, emergency response, and countless other domains where time matters critically. The economic value of reducing intercontinental travel from 15 hours to 2 hours is enormous, potentially justifying the substantial development costs these systems require. Cities and regions suddenly become accessible in ways that reshape everything from real estate values to labor markets to cultural exchange patterns. However, significant challenges remain before hypersonic flight becomes routine. The extreme temperatures generated by Mach 16 flight create material science problems that haven't been fully solved. Airframes must withstand heat that would melt conventional materials while maintaining structural integrity under enormous aerodynamic stresses. Control systems must operate reliably in environments where milliseconds matter and corrections must be executed with precision despite sensor limitations. Fuel systems must deliver propellants at rates and pressures far exceeding anything conventional engines require. Economic viability presents equally formidable obstacles. Development costs for hypersonic systems are astronomical, and operational costs will likely remain very high even after technologies mature. The question becomes whether sufficient markets exist to justify these expenses. Military applications may justify costs through strategic value, but civilian markets require demonstrating that customers will pay premium prices in quantities sufficient to recover investments. The history of supersonic passenger aviation provides sobering lessons. The Concorde was a technical triumph but commercial failure because ticket prices exceeded what markets would sustain. International regulatory frameworks present another layer of complexity. Hypersonic flight crosses national boundaries so quickly that existing air traffic control systems cannot manage them. Sonic booms at these speeds create noise pollution far exceeding what communities tolerate from subsonic or even supersonic aircraft. Environmental impacts from fuel consumption and emissions at extreme altitudes require assessment. International agreements governing airspace use were written assuming much slower aircraft and will need complete revision to accommodate hypersonic flight. The geopolitical dimensions deserve careful consideration. China's hypersonic achievements occur within context of intensifying strategic competition with the United States and its allies. Western sanctions aimed at limiting Chinese technological advancement have clearly failed to prevent progress in this domain. This failure forces reassessment of technology control strategies that assumed restricting access to key components would prevent indigenous development. China's success demonstrates that determined nations with substantial resources can overcome technology denial through sustained investment in research and development.
This has implications for how technological competition unfolds in coming decades. Simply restricting exports of advanced components may not prevent competitors from developing alternatives. It may instead motivate them to invest in domestic capabilities they might otherwise have imported. The question becomes whether technology controls achieve their objectives or merely delay progress while encouraging development of competing systems that eventually erode the initial advantages controls were meant to preserve. For the United States and its allies, China's hypersonic progress represents both challenge and opportunity. The challenge is obvious. A potential adversary has developed capabilities that could threaten existing military advantages and economic positions. The opportunity lies in recognizing that technological competition can drive innovation that benefits everyone. The space race of the 1960s produced countless technologies with civilian applications far beyond their original military purposes. Hypersonic competition could follow similar patterns if managed properly. The key is avoiding scenarios where technological competition triggers actual conflict. History shows that periods of rapid technological change often coincide with geopolitical instability, as established powers struggle to accommodate rising challengers. The transition from British to American global leadership involved two world wars, partly because institutional frameworks didn't exist to manage power transitions peacefully. Whether the current transition from American unipolarity toward multipolarity can occur without catastrophic conflict depends partly on how technological competition in domains like hypersonics is managed. Ultimately, China's oblique detonation ramjet represents more than engineering achievement. It symbolizes broader shifts in global technological leadership. For decades, the assumption held that fundamental breakthroughs would originate in the West, with other regions following after delays. That assumption no longer holds. China and potentially other nations are now capable of pioneering advances that Western countries must respond to rather than lead. This represents a profound shift in how global innovation works and requires corresponding adjustments in how nations think about technological competition, cooperation, and the frameworks governing both. The question isn't whether hypersonic flight will transform aviation. It almost certainly will eventually. The question is how that transformation unfolds, who benefits, and whether the transition occurs cooperatively or competitively. China's announcement that it possesses Mach 16 engine technology makes these questions urgent rather than hypothetical. The era of Western monopoly on cutting-edge aerospace technology has ended. What comes next depends on choices made in capitals worldwide over coming years, choices that will determine not just who leads in hypersonics, but how technological competition shapes the broader international order for decades ahead.